All right. Switching gears. This is the Adele song, Someone Like You. And we talked about arpeggiation. We talked about chord progressions in Moonlight Sonata, right? And it was just so, it's so difficult that it's hard for you to think about those things. You're just engrossed in the notes and you just want to play it right. So now doing something like this that's more attainable in the short term will give you a real sense of gratification because you'll learn it pretty quickly. But now we can actually focus on chord progression and, and arpeggiation um, like this. Well, first, this is we have to identify how she arpeggiates the song. So it's the A chord, and it's like this. Just like that. Use the sustain pedal, it'll sound like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, those are all 16th notes. Bass note is going to be the root note. Now for the C sharp minor, instead of going to root position where you'd have to move your whole hand, we're just gonna take that G sharp and put it on the bottom and keep these two fingers where they were. We don't have to move these two fingers at all. Now take a look at the slash chord that we've talked about today. Um, root note is always going to be in your left hand unless otherwise specified, and the slash chord is that specification. It is calling for a G sharp in the left hand. Even easier than having to move to C sharp because you're just going to move your finger down like this. And then F sharp. And we're going to play first inversion F sharp minor. Why is it called first inversion? Because this is F sharp minor root position. But if we take that F sharp and put it on the top, we have this. Now remember the technique of finding the best choice for your inversion is by keeping as many fingers as you can that are already playing a note. The last chord we played was this C sharp minor second inversion. The common note between C sharp minor and F sharp minor is C sharp. So we're going to keep this finger on this C sharp and just pivot your hand, just swing your hand over. And then we go to a D second inversion. The notes that are in common between F sharp minor and D are the A and the F sharp. So we're gonna keep these two notes down and we're just gonna take this C sharp and turn it into an A, a D. So we're going. Now we're gonna add the bass notes, here we go. Simon. <laughs>